Placa Beach Naxos here on the Greek island of Naxos in Greece. So welcome back to my channel guys. I recently had the pleasure of visiting Naxos and I absolutely fell in love with the island guys. So I rented a car and I literally went everywhere I possibly could with the car rental that I had got. Please just make sure that um, you kind of do a little bit of your research before you go trekking along the mountains of Naxos. I have been to so many Greek islands and I was not expecting uh, how the mountains were, but I also wasn't expecting how much beach they have. So Placa Beach is ginormous. I was not expecting. I was like, okay, I'm going to go and, you know, I'm going to do my walking tour and then I'm going to find, you know, a vibe that feels good for me and go sit down somewhere and just enjoy the rest of, you know, the day. And I didn't realize because I parked, I started walking and I kept on walking. <laughs> And then by the time I had to go all the way back, I was looking for a cab. <laughs> Literally, no joke, guys. Um, but before we really get started, make sure you subscribe down below to the channel. There is so much content out that I have for so many of the Greek islands, and there's more to come. So please make sure you are subscribed. The one thing, though, that I do want to say is that if this is your first time coming to Greece. Please be careful with the heat when you are exploring and just really in the high seasons, it can get very, very hot. The heat can really, really get to you. In the beginning of the season, there was a few accidents on the Greek island. So you always want to make sure, make sure you're hydrated, make sure you're wearing a hat, you have sunscreen on, and you always have your phone so you know exactly where you are going and you can call for help. Now, if by any chance you do find means to cool off during your adventures, like I had found while I was here in um, Placa, Greece, just, you know, doing my walking tour for you guys, I found this guy with a hose, so I just asked him to kind of help me out if he can. <laughs> And seriously, the heat in Greece will make you do stuff like this. But I just, I'm a little playful, guys. So it was fun. And he absolutely enjoyed it, too. He was laughing hysterical. But please always make sure that you are very, very just cautious when you go to walk. Now, this was a little bit earlier in the morning, but it started getting closer to the afternoon time and it started getting hot. That's why uh, he ended up having to, you know, hose down the dirt roads as it really gets very, very hot in all of this heat in Greece and on the islands. So just please use caution right now. You know, you could just jump into the water. You could go and get, you know, like a coffee or something something at all of these beach bars you know this is really for people that go and venture out a lot and for me I could have jumped into the ocean obviously but I was on a mission I was getting this content for you guys <laughs> so <laughs> it was such a good time I just love having a good time and playing around guys so really though, Placa Beach I was not expecting how just big it was and that really Naxos had all of this beach. So when you go to a lot of the islands, now obviously if you're in Crete and stuff like that, those islands are huge, but a lot of the other islands, you know, there's just really these like small kind of beaches all sporadically throughout the island. But this was the actual whole side of this island going up into Aia Ana, up into Aia, um, Aios Prokopios. So this was just really such an amazing day. And there are so many beach bars and, you know, places to kind of just choose from. There's so many resorts and hotels and restaurants here. If I come back to Naxos, this is probably where I would stay if I was really coming like just to veg out and really just like have like a relaxing vacation where I was not looking to go anywhere else besides just eat, sleep, drink, ocean, pool, repeat. 
So Placa was definitely that um, for me that I, you know, realized that that was kind of the vibe here. It was just super like beach island vibe and I absolutely loved it. So another thing I want to say is that the buses do run by here all day long. Now you can see the buses obviously coming and going. Some of these buses are not the local buses. It is like tourist buses and stuff like that. But the local buses also do come here and they will drop you off. There are so many different bus stops throughout the strip here. It's not just all the way at the end. Um, so it's nice to kind of be able to be able to get to certain spots because again it is a very very long strip and that will also bring you to Agia Ana, Yos Procopios or if you want to go into main town Naxos which is Jora you can absolutely do that too right now in summertime the buses are running very very frequently and they are leaving earlier departing earlier and um, later during the day as well so they're running right now I think up until about 10:30. 11 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. Now as the season starts to slow down those times will change but that is um, you know a really great option if you aren't going to rent a car and really honestly if I was to come back to Naxos I don't think I would rent a car because of the bus system and I now know which areas for myself, I would love to come and return to, and it's kind of that whole, you know, Naxos, Main Town, and all the other areas that are saying Placa, Ya Ana, and stuff like that. So, without a doubt, you could absolutely enjoy Naxos without a rental car for sure. Now, I do want to mention, or just, you know, let you guys know, because I do get a lot of DMs and a lot of questions from my viewers about where do I book all of this travel that I do. And I actually use one site, that's Expedia. It's the link is gonna be in the video description down below. It is my link. You guys do not get charged for using my link at all. I will get some affiliate benefits for that. But I this is the only website that I use and I've been associated with them now for over a decade, kind of dating myself, but it is what it is because I swear by them. I book literally everything through Expedia. My car rentals, my flights, my hotels, my vacation packages, because when you book your flights and your hotels at the same time, you get even more of a discount on the website. And on top of it, since I am a member, which I signed up for free, I get exclusive member pricing, which means if a hotel, let's say is $150, I will get it for exclusive member pricing for like $120. And I have verified this where I will actually go to the, to the actual hotel website and see what they're charging for the nights that I'm looking for. And I do get exclusive member discounts from using through my um, Expedia website, excuse me, through my membership with the website. So I get exclusive Expedia member pricing and I get exclusive member discounts. So if they have like a promotion or a sale going on just for the members where it's like an extra 5% off, 10% off, that comes off the entire total on top of them giving back cash bucks, like actual money into your account so you can use it for more travel. And yes, I am on that little gerbil wheel of shopping, getting my points, getting my discounts, and then re-shopping and re-traveling because it is just so worth it. I am doing all this traveling anyway, so why not get the best prices and get rewarded for it, right? So the website that I use, like I said, the link is in the video description down below so you guys can book your next dream vacation here in Greece or really anywhere in the world. So please enjoy the rest of the video. If you have enjoyed it so far, please make sure that you give the video a thumbs up. You can also send me a super thanks or support the channel and enjoy the rest of the video. So much more to see. So don't click off of the video. See you guys soon.